Hello and welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. I'm now going to be showing you my version of the up and over rig. This is what the finished rig looks like. It's nice and compact. It's very streamlined for casting well. The way that the rig works is it works on the principle that as you cast out and the weight hits the bottom, the hook is released from the clip your lead sits tight on the bottom and your bait is presented down tied of the lead hard on the bottom. Now, I like using this rig on a certain venue because there's quite a lot of rocks in close and it's clean ground out at casting range. Now on this venue I'm usually targeting rays, thornback rays, spotted rays, the occasional bullus, maybe a strap conger. I like it because it has a running ledger effect with the lead so when you're fishing for things like bullus that can be very finicky sometimes when a bullus picks up a bait if they feel any resistance at all from the trace or the weight they'll drop the bait and they'll come back but if they're sliding lead they won't feel any weight of the trace in theory anyway The items that you will need for building the rig are here. First of all, your rig body. I like to make it out of 50 pound mono. And I'm using roughly two feet. On one end, this piece is crucial. I will show you why later. Palomar knot. As I explained in a Palomar knot video, these knots are great for the ends of your terminal tackle. They're very strong and if you're only going to clips or to swivels it doesn't really matter about having a large knot. I've never actually had one of these Palomar knots fail touch wood. It's usually the line that fails before the knot does. First thing onto the rig body you're going to slide is going to be one of your beads. Now you take your pulley bead and connect your snap link through the eye. This is where your weight's going to be attached later. Then slide your pulley bead onto your line, followed by your second bead. The reason why I use beads either side of the pulley bead is that when the weight's connected and it's sliding up and down, I don't want it hitting up against the knot and potentially damaging the knot. So the little beads are there as like a little cushion. Onto the other end of your rig body, I have a, snow, a strong snap swivel, Palomar knot again. Another possible rig of choice for the venue that I fish is a pulley rig. Now the reason that I prefer this to a pulley rig is because occasionally if the tide's running, a pulley rig can allow your bait up off the bottom. Whereas with this rig, the up and over rig, your bait is pretty well anchored to the bottom. There you go. Now your hook length. On one end of your hook length, just a normal barrel swivel. For this area, as I said, rays, the occasional codling, the odd strap, usually dogfish, you do get bullhus. Now bullhus are notorious for biting through weaker hook lengths. Which is why I prefer a strong 80 pound. Now you aren't you aren't using it as 80 pound. You might think, wow, that's really heavy. You're not fishing for the weight of the line, you're fishing for the abrasion resistance of the line. And believe me, bullus can soon make short work of an 80 pound line as well. Quite often they need changing every single time that you've had one. And for this, I like my hook lengths to be three feet. 
about half as long again as your rig body. When you're all collected up, attach your weight to your snap link. I must say it, you need a weight with a bait clip. You can use like a Gemini bait clip, but I find these Namex leads that have got one built in are just as good. I also like to keep my rigs as simple as possible with as few components as possible because I hate losing gear and if I lose some tackle I would like to lose as little of it as possible so if I can make up a rig that only has three swivels in and a hook and a weight rather than swivels, links, quick, quick releases, up and overs I'll let you a bit of drink. Right. The reason why this is called an up and over rig is you take your hook length up over the clip, back down, and your hook hooks off to the bait clip in your weight. Hence, up and over rig. As I was saying earlier as well, your rig body, you can have one and a half times the length of your rig body as your hook length. So say for instance, if your rig body is two feet, because your hook length is going up and over, you could have three feet of hook length. Up and over rig. 